Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, hope you guys are all doing well, it's Oscar and we're back again with another video. Today I think I got something pretty cool, it's a new, I, I was gonna say it's a new pretty small chipset, but it's actually pretty big. Um, they're like 2,000 chips that I just got, they're um, not generic chips, these are actually ceramic tribute chips from the Bellagio. Um, their first edition Bellagio tribute chips on 39mm, no mold textured ceramics, and uh, yeah, they're just, they're really cool. And something that I really wanted to show with you guys, they're kind of, they're not really exactly what, uh, I guess, the standard TRKs or Paulsons or whatever I do kind of show off on the channel. But, um, I don't know, it, from a little kid's dream or, or like, let's say from uh, ever since I got into chip collecting, it's been a goal to even, let's say, have a Bellagio 25, Bellagio 10, Bellagio 20, um, let alone try and find 100 in, in the higher denominations up especially with the Nevada Gaming Commission when new chips get uh, when new chips get put into play the, all the old ones get replaced and destroyed so the the chance to ever having a set like this of the actual chips is basically impossible because all the chips are destroyed so with that thinking and when I saw this you know artwork on a PCF when it was available for a group buy I thought it was the the perfect chance to go ahead and get a uh, a group buy kind of a ceramic set it's a Bellagio tribute ceramic set, um, and uh, just go, you know, just just get everything that I would have ever wanted, and uh, that's exactly what I got. So, with that, I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, what I did get, how the chips look, how they feel, my thoughts about them, and uh, maybe it could convince you guys to possibly get them in the future as well. So. Let me go ahead and turn this around and uh, we'll get to talking chips. Okay, so like I said, these are the chips themselves. This isn't everything, but this is a pretty good part of it. Um, as you can already see, there's fives, twenties. Up here we got some tens, thousands, twenty fives. In the back, some more tens, twenties. We got some one Ks, hundreds. Here we got some five Ks, hundreds, five hundreds, and thousands. And then over here we got some more fives, tens, twenties, and twenty-fives. And then if we turn around over here, we got five Ks, twenty-five Ks, and hundred Ks. Some custom dealer buttons that were made, along with some custom uh, cut cards that were also made. So I do want to talk about the chips themselves because um, obviously the chips themselves are the, are the main reason I got them. Um, they're Pretty good quality considering their ceramics. They're a little bit better than what I was expecting. The first run of the samples that were actually ordered were no mold, uh, slippery, I guess more so slippery ceramics. These are no, no mold textured ceramics. So they're a little bit, um, they have more grip to them. They have more grittiness to them. They're a lot better. But as long as, the, as far as the chip goes itself, it is basically an exact replica of the first edition Bellagio. For example, this is the five. It's an exact, basically replica. It has the Fox mold on there, has the denomination. Obviously the, the edges are a little bit skinnier. There's no obviously ridges on the edge. They're ceramic chips, but they sound like ceramics. They're, they're everything you could have ever asked for. 20s are basically an exact replica. Um, I don't know, it's it's cool. The the one thing I didn't like, and luckily I didn't grab more of these, was the ten. Obviously, compared to the five and the twenty that you've seen so far, the ten has this almost half moon circle going around the inlay part of it. Um, originally, I didn't see that, but I guess it was printed onto all of the tens, so maybe it was a mistake. I'm not sure. Um, then the twenty-five. Same thing, exact replica. The colors on these chips, for being ceramics, is uh, really, 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 really close. And even the details on the 25, as far as the sparkle or the specks in the in the black, um, they're, like I said, they're everything you probably would have ever wanted. They are ceramics. They sound like ceramics. They stack and shuffle and do everything you would have ever wanted. Um, they grip onto each other without a problem. Uh, this shuffling is not the best, but they 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 do the they do the job. That's all we need to know. So there's those. 
Then here was the 5K, 100, 500, and 1K. Like I said, the colors on these, the colors are, they are insanely close to, you know, the actual original chips. Um, obviously the 5K and the 1K and the 500, I've never seen in person. The 100, I've seen a few of. It is pretty spot on. And then like I mentioned, the 25, the five and then i have some ones back there but the ones are a little bit hidden um here is what the one looks like so it's basically like i said exact replica um i don't know it, it to me having the ability to have a set like this um it makes it makes chip collecting fun obviously there are a little let's say pros and cons to this Major cons, let's say if the wrong people that get their hands on this stuff, they try to sell them um, on secondary markets as real Bellagio chips. It's going to be a little bit fishy, but there is one dis uh, distinct thing on ceramics, and I'm not sure if you can see it on, this, on the, the actual video itself, but the ceramics each have this little dimple on the side of the chips. That's basically where the ceramic mold, uh, or the, I guess we could say the ceramic mold itself is. If you see that dimple on the side of the chips, you know they're ceramics. Um, the other thing is, if I remember correctly, the actual Bellagio, the original ones, the the house mold part of the Bellagio is actually, you know, you can see the shadow. These are obviously printed on there, so it's not a distinct shadow where the actual mold is. Um, along with the edges, they're a little bit thicker and all that stuff. But as far as having, you know, like a ceramic set of these, it is a dream, um, something that I probably never thought I would have ever seen in my life, but I'm really happy with the way these came out. Um, big thank you to all the guys on PCF that went ahead and did the first run of these. Um, I'm gonna have those, uh, at least all the uh, the threads as far as how these chips, you know, came to be. I'm gonna have all that information in the description if anyone ends up seeing this video and they wanna go ahead and get themselves um, a set of these because they are, like I said, they're 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 awesome chips. If you have the chance and you want to drop a little bit of money, these chips aren't that expensive at all. They're thirty nine cents a piece. Um, thirty nine cents a piece for these thirty nine mil, or was it thirty three cents a piece? Sorry, thirty three cents a piece for the thirty nine, and I believe it was like thirty nine or something for forty three mil chips. If you want to go ahead and get forty three mil versions of these. Um, they're the exact same artwork and everything, obviously just on a slightly bigger chip. So that is that. Um, let me show you guys one more quick thing. I did show you guys the, the dealer button. These are the dealer buttons, Bellagio dealer. It says right there, Las Vegas, Nevada. And then the edges have these scroll like looking things on them. Um, these are also made of ceramic, really nice, high quality stuff. And then there's obviously the cut cards. There's also a thread for these, Bellagio Las Vegas. And then on the back side, it's just a black Bellagio. And it's pretty reflective. Obviously, you can see me, you can see the, the mic and everything. But uh, yeah, these are really nice. Um, I think there was somebody on P on YouTube, I think, was it Anthony Martino? Or somebody, somebody else made a video about uh, Aria's uh, 39 mil cards mold chips. These are the exact same, I guess we could say, cards mold. These are no mold textured ceramics, like I mentioned. Um, made in China. These are, they're, they're insanely cool. So I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this stuff. If you guys did like the video at any point, please drop a like. If you have any comments or anything, put those in the, uh, put those below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, if you wanna go ahead and share this video with friends and families or wherever you want, please go ahead and do that. And uh, thanks again for watching. It's been Oscar, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.